I make it home to an emotional reunion. A few days later, there's a knock at the door. Someone very official looking and vague. They take me to some briefing. They say there's some foreign intelligence group. I feel like I'm under interrogation. I elaborate about what is to be known as the rape of Nanjing. But they are more interested in the treasure. They're not worried about Japan. One makes a comment that they have something in the works for him. What they are more concerned with is not letting the communist Chinese gain control of China's soul. It is in America's interest that Chen Kai-shek has possession. They allow me to live at home while they train me. They want my family and friends to believe that I'm joining the Air Force. But what they really want me to do is continue on my work with the art and just report back to them. The Burma Road is severed. I need to catch a supply flight over the Himalayas, known as the Hump. I'm flown to Misamari, India. There, I board a C-46, which flies various hump fields. We take a hundred octane in supplies to Kunming, China. The pilot volunteered for this off-the-books mission to get me back near the caves near the city of Ashen in Sichuan. After we unload, it's time for the last leg of my journey back. Robert Hawkeye Trump. Porter. Howard, show me, Porter. Hawkeye got uh, diverted to Calcutta. You're stuck with me, kid. You best strap in. I'm Josh. Yeah. I know, kid. Say, uh, tap on that fuel gauge over there, would you? Sure. So where's your co-pilot? <laughs> You're it, kid. We're just a bit short-handed. What? Say, uh, tap on that gauge again, would you? It says we're empty, but I'm pretty sure they filled this thing up last night. Gotta get that thing fixed. Fixed? What else doesn't work on... Don't worry about it, kid. I'm not worried. So, Howard, where are you from? Kansas City. Gee whiz, me too. Well, actually from Liberty. About paradise. It's near Smithville. I went to Smithville High. My best friend Jim Pence moved to Smithville. You know, say, I used to play blast basketball with his oldest brother, Richard. That's unbelievable. God, the world doesn't seem so big now. Yeah. It seemed like just yesterday I played basketball and tennis, going on coyote hunts. <laughs> now here I am, flying over the heart of China, with a fellow show me state guy. How the hell did that happen? How's that happen? The world's turned upside down and taken me with it. Vinny Vinny Beach, you see, that's the problem. Throughout history, men have come, have seen, have conquered. Me, I came, I saw, I learned. The stories of the conqueror outweigh the stories of the intellectual. That's it, kid. You best get some sleep. You're going to need it. Me and Ma. Hey, wake up, kid. It's time to take a power. Huh? Punch out. I don't see the landing strip. <laughs> see that clearing down there? Yes. That's where you're gonna land. Your parachute opens. If it doesn't, try to grab on some of those tree limbs down there and break your fall. You won't break quite so many bones that way. Yeah, you need to get ready to jump. Jump! You, uh... Look like you've seen a ghost. Yeah! My own! You were trained to jump, weren't you? Yes, but it was just in the case of an emergency. I didn't think I'd have to actually do it. Look at it this way, kid. If uh, we keep circling that clearing down there and we run out of fuel, we're going to crash. And if we crash, see, uh, that's an emergency. Now, I don't intend to have an emergency, so you need to jump. Now, you better get ready. That last step without a parachute's a bitch. I can't circle this clarity for every kid. Not enough gas power. <laughs> <laughs> Got 
gas last night. Nag, nag, nag. <laughs> Started. Okay. Here I go. surprised to see me return. I suspect it's because he works for General Chiang Kai-shek. I'm just interested in the priceless academic value. There's more at stake, much more than I knew or cared about. When the war is over, I stay with the art. When the Japanese are defeated, there's a new foe to worry about. It's Mao. The communists are gaining ground, and the art has to be moved. Again! The journey reminds me of the hole in my heart. It's been years. I still long to see Lian Wang as we travel down the river. I look for the village at every turn, but it's as if it has disappeared. By horse-drawn cart, by steamship, by truck, and by train, we make it to the docks at Shanghai to ship the crates to Taiwan. It's a paradox somehow. What do you mean? He will have his followers destroying everything that is the soul of China, but he knows he needs to own it to rule. He has a passion for the calligraphy. A hypocrite he is. He will be destroying everything throughout the country that is traditional, uh, religious, uh, traditional, intellectual, religious, or bourgeoisie, known as the full olds. Statues, art, temples, and books will be destroyed, and intellectuals murdered. See those dock workers? Some of them are communist sympathizers and have been instructed on a work slowdown. Ma Heng, Yi's successor, director of the Palace Museum, has not cooperated in sending us the rest of the collection, even though he said he would. But, it's no matter. We have the best of the collection. It will forever be in Taipei. Mao can never claim to be the true ruler of China. He will only get the scraps that we leave behind. He will be the lesser god. Taiwan always taunted the mainland by publishing what they truly possessed, especially on postage stamps. The communists didn't allow the collection of those stamps. What are you talking about? How do you know this will happen? What, your fortune teller now? We haven't even made it to Taiwan yet. The future affects the past as much as the past affects the future. I think I'm going mad. Mainland China did not allow the collection of stamps. And, uh, an indication of what they did not have. They will never have the true Chinese soul. The art is only being loaded now. It's not even in Taipei yet. You know why your stamps are so valuable now? The Chinese are allowed to collect billions of people trying to get a piece of their soul back. Uh, blank. Good old fashioned capitalism. Good old fashioned capitalism. Supply and demand. The Chinese demand something? There should be a supply available. Do you understand now the importance of beauty, culture, and history? You're making no sense to me. Look at that 